Alright, it's Anaconda Squeeze, and we are back in Skyrim on the PS4 doing another player home mod for you today. And today we're looking at Flair's Practical Home. Uh, this is a pretty neat little house so far from what I've seen. Uh, right off the trail, right before Riverwood. Uh, so once you start the game, you'll have easy access to it right here, just down from Helgen. Right before Riverwood here, let's go up, and it looks like you've got some characters already. Who are you? Who are you, Mr. Man? I want to see if, uh, if they have the face glitch. It looks like their face is fine. Yeah, his face is fine. You don't have a face glitch. You're a perfectly normal human being. What do you well, orc. What have we got for sales? We have a nice little a merchant here. What do you got for me? Anything cool? Uh, lots of ingredients. Pretty much that. And then a book. Awesome. Until and we got another buddy over here. You have a weird face glitch thing going on. Out with it. Is this a different face glitch? I don't know. You're also on though. What do you got? And pretty much the same stuff. All right, more ingredients. We got two ingredients, guys. We've got. Hey, I already talked to you. We got a bunch of fish. We got an outdoor cooking spot. Looks pretty cool. Let's check out. There's another guy. There's guys everywhere. There's guys all over this place. We got some venison here. We've got. Oh, this is like a new face glitch. This is cool. What's up, no shirt guy? Take a look. All right, what do you got? This is. Oh, okay. More crafting stuff. So yeah, so you have a bunch of merchants kind of hanging around here. They have a ton of stuff on them, so that's pretty cool. At least they've got some things going on. Some stuff, some things, more pellets, more ingredients. All right, what else is down here? We've got a bunch of tents for them to sleep in, so that's pretty cool. We've got a, looks like a giant's club stuck in a tree. Over here, we've got another big tent with a couple more sleeping bags. So just all I have to hang out. And tons of pellets for us to take, so that's cool. I like taking pellets. Can I hack it out? There we go. It's trapped in the tent. All right, let's have a quick little peek what's over here. Did I see a tanning rack? I did see a tanning rack. We got a tanning rack right there. And that's boot it. Let's go this way. And on this side. So there's more. There's tents freaking everywhere. There's tents. There is some stuff to harvest down here. A little mud crab just chilling. No, like, there are a lot of tents. It's just tents for days. All right. I kinda, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Let's jump around here. Let's take a quick look at the back porch, then we'll head inside. Uh, mounts, 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 mounts. This porch wrap all the way around. No way to get inside. What is this? Can I break this? Can I break it? Uh, this looks like something I should be able to break. Scooby Doo, don't lie to me now. All right, that's not something. That's just something from the model, probably. All right, let's get over here. Let's go have a look at all this. Can we get through this way? There we go. All right, front door is this way and this way. So this mod was created by Flare One. It is his first mod, and looks like it is based off of the shop in uh, Riverwood. There. What's up, Talos? How you doing? Hanging out. We got some empty storage of things that are labeled to sell, which I do appreciate. I love when things are labeled storage. Some scrolls. Uh, we've got potions. We've got poisons. Ingredients. Okay, that's kind of cool. So I like the fact that we actually can organize our stuff here. We've got a cooking pot. We've got a lady named... What is wrong with your lips? What are you... Need something? You look the Joker. What the hell is going on with you? You're crazy. Hmm? Take a look. I can't deal with you. I can't even handle any of your business right now. That is... Ugh. I ain't doing that. Okay. I am not doing that. Let's go upstairs first, and we'll head in the basement after. Peeking around, we got another guy... Oh, look at you. You got like the same thing, but like in the middle of your face. What, can I do? Take a look. what do you got? There's like little shop owners. All of them. Oh, Dwarven, Dwarven, Dwarven. Lots of bow stuff. You're the cool one. I would hang out with you for a bit. You got a lot of stuff and things that I would like to touch. I like your boobies. Alright, over here. We've got a bed. We've got more bookcases and storage like that. Do we have an actual storage? Take a quill. Forge business numbers. This is kind of a... A less than desirable master bedroom, but you must be my lady friend. All right, let's head downstairs here. Let's take a peek. What? Who sleeps on a bedroll in the corner? Here's stuff going on. Oh, what's up? What's up? Okay, so here is the forge area. We got another thing right there. Another tanning rack. What's up, Runa? What do you got? Some stuff? Some cool things? Like you're not gonna run out of money. Look at that, two hundred thirty thousand gold in these bastards. All right, some more stuff there. Good day. Alright, so lots of our forge things, uh, weapon racks, 
more storage, more storage, lots of theme storage, so nothing too crazy. Uh, so this was the mod created by Flare One. It is the first mod that this person has created, and it looks like a first mod. Like it's definitely very good. It meets all the requirements that I typically look for in a player home for Skyrim. Um, it is interesting. It is convenient. It kind of fits with the lore. Like it's not too out of place. There is everything we're going to need to access. Like there's merchants we've got all of our storage we've got all the necessities we can build forges and all that kind of stuff like that like we have everything um i yeah i really appreciate this house this is a nice house it's very early on and it's a great house for someone who's just made their first mod so what i would like to see i would like to see more from the flare uh i want to see what they can do now that they've kind of like gotten used to the control kind of seeing what they can do uh in the mod creator thing and just kind of see what happens next. What are they going to do after this? Because this definitely works. It is definitely a usable player home and a great location for the game for someone starting out. It doesn't give you too much OP stuff. So, like, you are very... Uh, it, like, you wouldn't be over-leveled. Uh, I'm, there are a lot of, like, shop owners. That's kind of crazy. It seems to be a lot of people here. Other than that, guys, I think it's a pretty good mod. If you want to check it out, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. Uh, if you want, if you like this video, make sure you show your support and like the video. And if you haven't already, guys, definitely subscribe, hit the bell, do whatever you want to do here. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the channel. And until next time, my name is Anaconda Squeeze, and I will see you all fucking later. Bye.